YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is something completely different and something I've never talked about here on the channel. Uh, and I don't really know why, because it is a huge, huge part of my life and my body and it's tattoos. For those of you who are new to the channel, you won't know because it's winter and I'm wearing clothes uh, as opposed to summer when I still wear them, but less of them. Uh, I'm covered, literally. I mean, arms all done, chest, back completely done, legs. I've got a little bit of space left on my left leg and a spot here, which I'm getting done today. So I wanted to share with you my thoughts, views, advice, uh, aftercare, tips, tricks, that sort of thing. Because I do get asked it a lot and a couple of my buddies have asked me, they've had tattoos, I've tried to help them through the process. Uh, so I'm just going to share what I feel is the right and wrong things to do when having tattoos, considering tattoos. Uh, so obviously, and these things are obvious, you need to choose the right tattoo for you. Make sure the design you're going to have is what you want and it's a cliche to say it, but tattoos last forever and they really do last forever. Believe it or not, some people still think they only last a couple of years. Tattoos are permanent. 100% they will be with you till the day you die. So make sure the design you have, i.e. if you're going to have your girlfriend's name tattooed on you, know what I mean? Make sure she's the one. Uh, I suggest you don't have it as much as you love her now. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? It might change. So. You need to make sure that what you're having done, if it's a picture of your best friend on your arm or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Make sure that that design is something you will be happy to live with for the rest of your life. Don't do what a lot of people do out on holiday. And we see it here a lot because I live in a holiday resort in the south of Spain. We have people come over on holiday. They go out with the mates. They're drunk. They go to a tattoo shop that's open. Can't believe tattoo shops are allowed to be open at bar closing times. And they're only in it for the money, folks. They're not in it because they're an artist. But they will tattoo you pissed as a fart whatever you want uh, and you'll come out of there with dave tattooed across your ass or i love johnny knob on your forehead you know what i mean just don't do it just walk away from the drunk tattoo places and just don't do it if your mates are going in there go and watch and laugh at them advise them not to do it but don't do it yourself I promise you you're gonna regret it. you're gonna wake up the next day and think oh what the fucking hell have i done i haven't done it don't think that for a second i have friends that have done it stupid you're stupid you know who you are why did you do that that's just like ugh. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is make sure you have the right tattoo for you and that you 100% know that that's what you want and you're going to be happy to live that forever. The next thing is tattoo placement. I see a lot of people with neck tattoos, with hand tattoos. I personally think they look very cool and I would have done one back in the day. Fortunately, I didn't because tattoos, unfortunately, affect your life whether you like it or not and society is changing ever so slightly uh, and they're kind of more acceptable now uh, but they will affect you in the future if you're 18 now a tech ta a tech what the hell a neck tattoo might seem the best idea in the world and it will look amazing but in 10 years time you might be in a completely different phase of your life you might be trying to get employment in a bank or something like that where the bank manager might be thinking do we really want Tom with his neck tattoo of a dragon representing our company to all our clients? It shouldn't be allowed for them to say they don't want you in there, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So think about it. Really think about it. If you already know what your future is going to be like, very hard. Give us the lottery numbers, please, if you know the future. But you get what I mean. If your future is planned out and you're going to like work for the family business and the family business is even behind closed doors and they don't care what you look like, then it's absolutely fine. But if you don't know that, then really think about it. I mean, it will affect you regardless of what you think now. It's going to affect your life in the future. So maybe just hold off a couple of years, see where life takes you, have a think about it, talk to your friends, talk to your family. Uh, your family will always tell you the truth and they always told me I was an idiot, but I went against them anyway. But with me, I can literally, I can wear a suit. Nobody would know I am tattooed at all. Uh, and that was very fortunate. And I could have made the mistake and done it and had them up to here and all over the place. But I didn't. I'm not saying don't get them. I'm just saying think about it. The next thing is to research the person who's going to change how you look for the rest of your life. I see so many people uh, ask. Well, I see so many people. I have a lot of people ask me, who's the cheapest tattooist in town? And I'm like, well, do you really want the cheapest? Is that what you're going for? And it's it shouldn't be about money. If you're having someone put a needle in your arm with ink on it that's going to stay there forever, cost shouldn't be a matter at all. If it is, you shouldn't be getting a tattoo. 
you should look for the best artist and the person with the best reputation in your area. Or in my case, not even in my area. I have to travel an hour and a half down the coast to the person who does my tattoos now because they do very, very good work, high quality, clean, uh, and they know what they're doing. They've been doing it for many years. There are a lot of people who will say to you, I could tattoo, I bought a kit off eBay, I'll do it for nothing. Walk away. I appreciate that people need to practice, but you can buy skins to practice on. You can practice on fruit, stuff like that. Don't practice on your mates. Don't be the mate who's going to go and let your other mate practice on you. Again, I keep saying it, they last forever. And if you've got some scrawled out, scratched fucking thing in your arm, it's going to look shit. It's going to be bad. It's probably going to get infected, which is really dangerous. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so don't do it. Research a tattoo artist. Go to them, speak to them, look at their portfolio. A good tattoo artist will have a huge amount of images of people they've tattooed. Uh, and just research, look through them. Look at the images and don't just immediately go, oh, that's a cool tattoo. Actually look at it. And if it's a picture of a person, does it actually look like a person? Make sure they've got all their digits. So you see a lot of tattoos where people have got three fingers and one arm's longer than the other and their eyes all bulged out like here. And you think, oh, it's a cool tattoo, but actually it's really not. It's really bad and that's on that person forever. So research your person. Uh, find out within your group of mates if they've had tattoos. Ask them, look at their tattoo. Ask if they're, if they're genuinely happy with it. They'll immediately go, yeah, it's cool. But actually say, look, seriously, are you happy with it? I'm considering getting one. And they should actually say to you then, well, if they're not happy. I have a couple of tattoos on my, myself that I'm not 100% happy with. And I can't do anything about that. I could have them covered over, but I'm not about that game. I'm like, I made the mistake doing it. I'll live with it. So research the person you're going to use. Make sure they're 100%. Make sure their shop is clean. If you go in and you, you see something that you just don't think is right, just walk away. Find someone else. Seriously. When it comes to the design stage of it, if you go in and you want a custom design, when you go to tattoos, they have books full of thousands of tattoos. I don't use them. I've designed all my tattoos myself. But you can go in and choose from them. But if you want to do a design yourself, work with the tattoo guy, work with the tattoo girl, whoever it is who does your stuff, and make sure you're 100% happy with the design before it's put on your body. So what I'm saying is they, they come back a week later and they say, well, there's your design, do you want to do it now? And you kind of like, I don't know. Don't just say, yes, okay, that's fine. Ask them to change something. They're there to please you and make sure you're 100% happy with it. Again, it's for life, make sure it's right. So you've gone through all that, you've you've made the decision, yes, I want to have one, this is where I'm going to put it, that's the design I'm going to do, I'm happy with it, you've gone in, you've had it done. It hurts. Don't be fooled, it hurts everywhere on the body. Anybody who tells you it doesn't hurt at all is lying to you. There are places on the body that are more bearable than other places, but that is different for every single person. My back was the most painful experience of my life to the point, I mean, I could sit, I had a leg done in, it took, I think it took 18 hours. I had that done in two sessions in a week. So I did like nine hours and nine hours and whatever it was, my math's terrible. And it didn't really hurt that bad, I could bear with it. But on my back, I mean, I had sessions where I could only last about half an hour and I was like, nah, that's it for today, I can't do it anymore. So it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt in different places around you. For sure, ask advice, did it hurt you there? They'll say yes, or if they say no, they're probably lying, because it does hurt. What I'm saying is be expect, expect it to be painful. The way I can describe it to for most of it is think that you've got really bad sunburn and then someone scrapes a, a key or something across that sunburn. That's kind of the pain level you're going for. It's not nice. It's not pleasant. So appreciate the fact that it's going to hurt you. And if you're having a very big tattoo and it's your first tattoo, be ready. Uh, it also hurts for a while afterwards and that's completely normal. I mean, tattooing is a form, it's a needle that goes into the skin. It's basically a cut with ink laid in it. So it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt for a while. Aftercare is the most important thing. Now, I can only give you the advice of how I've looked after all my tattoos. Your tattooist should give you some decent aftercare advice. Follow it. If it works for you, that's great. I can just tell you what I've done. So whenever I've had a tattoo done, when it's finished, they will clean it down and they will wrap it in cling film or I think it's called saran wrap in America if you're from America and you're watching. That clear stuff that you wrap food in. They'll basically wrap your arm in that. Now, I leave that on until I get home. Some tattoo artists will say leave it on for a couple of hours, leave it on until the next day. I believe that's wrong because what will happen is your skin will sweat underneath it. It can't breathe and that will start to ooze the ink out of your skin, which will leave the tattoo once it's healed lighter than it should be. So I literally leave that on until I get home. I take it off. I go to the bathroom and I use cold water and a bit of soap. This is really important. It's cold water. Do not put hot water on your tattoo for at least the first seven days because 
A, it will hurt like a bitch, and B, it will make the skin inflamed and you could be open to infections and stuff like that. Not nice. So I run a bit of cold water on some kitchen towel and I just tap it, pat it like that gently with soap and then rinse it under the cold tap. It will feel really nice because your skin will be burning by that point because it's been under whatever pain you've gone through. So that, and then all I do is let it drip dry. I don't rub it with a towel, never rub a tattoo when it's first been done. I don't even put a towel near it, I just let it dry. I use Savlon Cream, which I will try and find a link to. It's a UK-based moisturising antiseptic cream, something like that. I think that's the description of it. I use that on the tattoo after I've washed it to keep it nice and clean and, and not get any infections in it. And then um, what I will do is you can get bandages or like a bandage sleeve if you do it on your arm. And I put that on for the first day and leave it there like that so it's covered. It's not tight to the skin. It's just covered so it doesn't get rubbed on anything. It's a, an, uh, a clinically cleaned dressing so there's not going to be any risk of infection there. Uh, don't put it on tight. Just literally loosely leave that on there. And then after the first day is done and the first night's sleep, I will keep that off during the day and I'll apply that Savlon cream three times a day, once in the morning, once in the middle of the day, once before I go to bed. And for the first week or so, you'll know when to stop. I will still keep putting on that like bandage cover because you're going to bleed still and you don't want to bleed all over your bed. You don't want to be stuck to your bed sheets. It's far easier to get one of these off than it is to peel yourself off the bed in the morning when you like bled all over and stuff there. It's not very nice, is it? No. So you really, really need to consider, is this the right path for you to take? So once all that nasty crap's out of the way and it's stopped hurting and it's stopped bleeding, I literally leave it normally. Keep it out of the sun, really important. You do not want to go anywhere near sunlight for the first six weeks of this tattoo. Uh, and the reason for that is two reasons. First of all, if you get it in direct sunlight, it will fade the tattoo very quickly in the first six weeks of having it because it's open skin. Secondly, you really open yourself up for skin cancer. And I'm not pissing about here, I'm not joking. It's a fact, it's an open wound. Sunlight gets more deeper into the skin, so you're gonna get some sort of damage done there, whether it's just the fading or whether it's even more serious. Uh, and it's really sad out here. We see a lot of people come out, they'll go to a tattoo shop in the middle of August when it's 45 degrees, and then they'll go and sit by the pool with a fresh tattoo all day long. And it's like, oh my God, you just it's dangerous. Don't do it. So keep it out of sunlight. For the first six weeks, if you live in the UK, not really a problem. If you live in sunny climates like I do, I get my tattoos done in the winter where that's not a problem. I'm not going to go out and sit on the beach because it's cold outside, even though the sun is out and I'm also covered. So it's fine, safe. So look after it. So after the first week's done, it's all healed up. I just keep applying moisturizing antiseptic cream to keep the skin moisturized. Don't let it dry out. It's going to form like a scar and a scab. That's normal. Do not pick it. If you pick it, you will pull ink out of the skin. You will be left with a shit looking tattoo. So however much it itches or annoys you, just leave it alone. Trust me, you'll have a little bit and you'll be like, I'll oh, just pick that bit off. Don't do it. Don't do it. The skin will look disgusting. It will start to scab over and look horrific and all scaly and dry and just use a little bit of moisturizer. Not too much. You don't want to loosen the scabs off. Just keep doing that and eventually it will heal. Two to three weeks and it should look like all the scabs are gone. They'll all fallen off. They'll be fucking everywhere. You'll be pissed off with it. It won't hurt by this point, but you should be fine. As long as you've kept it clean, you've kept it moisturized, you will have a nice looking tattoo after this. Um, hot water, like I said at the beginning, keep it out of it for the first week. You'll know when you can put hot water on it because it won't sting like a motherfucker. I generally stay away from hot water for about a week. Uh, and once that's over, you can go back to normal. Don't leave it soaked in a bath like that if you're a big bath lover. God, we're talking about baths on my channel, which is crazy. If you're a big lover of baths, don't lie in the bath for an hour because you will make the ink come out of the skin. You'll make it worse than it was before. Uh, what else have we got to cover? That's it, really. I mean, after about three weeks, the new skin will have healed over it. It will look very dull, but that's normal. And then after about four weeks, it will look how the tattoo is going to look when it's finished and all done. And as long as you've looked after it, you'll have a very, very cool piece of artwork, hopefully, in the right place on your body that you're happy with, done by someone who knows what they're doing for the rest of your life. And it'll look amazing. Uh, so, yeah, that's my kind of, like, help to you guys considering getting tattoos or if you just had a tattoo done, how to look after it, etc. Do not quote me on any of this. I mean, this is just how I've dealt with all my tattoos and my advice to you. You are your own person. You will do whatever you want to do. So don't blame me if it all goes wrong, if you didn't do what I said, or if you do 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 what I said and it still goes wrong, you still can't blame me because it's just my advice to you. It's a recommendation. I'm trying to cover all my bases. I think we're good. Anyway, um, tattoos are great. I love them personally. Uh, I don't see a problem with them within society. I think that's a very bad stereotype. I wish it would go away. It will eventually, hopefully, but you have to consider that. Anyway, that's a good old ramble. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. And if you get a tattoo, 
hit me up on Twitter and show me. I'd love to see it. Take care. Peace. I'm